Oh, fuck. Does that make you happy? <laughs> he loves his hair. <laughs> no. Oh, my lord. Well, that guy, he'll come in and be like, oh, you had it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> people, don't, people laugh at me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, Bobby's laying it out today. Bobby's no. laying it all out. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, he does. <laughs> from the Empire Play Show. Today we're back in Oneana, New York. We're at a place called Sales New Classic Pizza. Now this place has been around since 1977, but when Bobby took over just about two years ago, he's brought his traditions in, his pizza making. He's got a lot of experience uh, with the family business. So we are here. It's a rainy, cold day in April. But we're gonna go inside where it's warm, see what he's got planned for us. Now, let's go. Bob, Bob, how you doing today, buddy? Bill, thanks for being here. Absolutely, man. It's exciting. We love coming to Oneana. We love the area, so we're glad to be back in town. Well, it's our pleasure to host you, and uh, thank you very much for, uh, you know, asking to stop by here and, and do this with us. Absolutely. So let's hear a little bit about sales. Uh, the new sales pizzeria now. Uh, obviously, you just uh, took over now. How long ago? Well, about uh, two years ago, actually, just a just hit my two-year anniversary yeah, a couple okay. days ago uh, since I purchased this place. This place has been here since 1977. Uh, it was started by uh, Joe Brigoli, who um, is a legend in this town. Okay, uh, you know, you know, 40 some years he ran this place. Uh, then he sold it to his brother, who ran it for about five years or few, you know a few years, and then uh, and then I took over uh, in a couple years ago. And uh, I have a long history in it. Same town uh, at Pizza Purveyor. Yeah. So my, yep. my dad was also a, a, a pizza man in town, and I, I learned the trade from him. Uh, my father's name was actually Sal. Oh, and okay. so when I was buying this place, it was kind of a, a, like a slightly a tribute to him. Yeah. He, my father passed away a few years ago. Okay. It's coming up on six years on uh, this month, actually. And um, I thought it was kind of a cool way to get back into the business, uh, pay a little homage to my father, and continue a legacy business of another pizza family that's been sure. in town for, you know, years or a really long time. So in other words, it was like, uh, uh, you know, I knew I had like big shoes to fill. Right. Both the previous family and my own father, but that's why I wanted to add the new classic right. portion to the name. Right. Uh, just because I could have come in here and called it Mickey Mouse Pizza. Sure. And people still call it South. Right, exactly. Uh, so I said, okay, I'm not going to change it to Bobby A's, which is really what I wanted to do. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, you know, nobody's going to, nobody's going to crap about Bobby A. It's South. They call me South. Walk down the street. Do they? South. I'm like, hey, how you doing, you know? But um, the new classic just allows me to put my little touch in it. Yeah. I've been trying to like take it into the next generation of, uh, you know, modern modernizing it a bit while still keeping that traditional vibe. So we put our passion into the pizza. We make great everything else, but for me, it's all about the pizza. So I really wanted to like, and I'm still tweaking and trying to always up up my game on the pizza. Okay. It's my intention to be what I call the Lamborghini uh -huh. pizza. Right, yeah, absolutely. And that has nothing to do so much with like a, a financial perspective. It's more of a an attitude and a mindset of the kind of quality I'm trying to go for. It's it's not just taking any ingredients anybody can buy and put it together. Right. It's um it's taking the ingredients and, and assembling them in a way that is um with a lot of care and a lot of intentionality. Pizza is the big thing here, but you do have so have a big menu. You got yeah. the strambolis, the calzones, yeah. some of this. So, so talk a little bit about some of the menu you got. So when I say pizza, I also you know include under there things like strambolis and and, and calzones because we're using the same dough, sure. all, same cheeses um, for that. So that's in that category. Okay. Uh, and this is our best. Uh, uh, <laughs> our best. Customer. Thanks for the penny. Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
even though it's not my name, Sam. Right, right. It's our name, and exactly. I want that you know name and brand to be associated with quality and goodness and positivity and doing the right thing. It's not just pizza to me. Right. It's something bigger than pizza. Right. You know, I could have done, I did do other things. I was a professional drummer for 20 years. Um, you know, I came back into the pizza industry because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And w once I my gigs dried up and right. everything, I'm like, what's COVID proof that I know how to do? Because I don't have a college degree, mm -hmm. you know? I only know how to make pizza and right. play the drums. So I got back into the pizza business. That's it. That's you know, it's all about. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, it's a great story, and we can't wait to uh, try some of the food. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to hit the kitchen. I know Bob's got some stuff he wants to send out for us to try, and we get to see how it's made, and then we get to sample some of the stuff. Thank Bob, you so much. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All right, so we just got our food brought out, and as you can see, <laughs> this is, a, we actually had to move a second table over here. We got so much food, Bob. You guys really hooked us up today. This looks incredible, by the way. Thank you very much. So what did you guys make for us? What do we got on the table? Well, listen, you got a sampling of, of what I consider our best items out here. Uh, so we're going to start down in the corner over here. This is our version of a margarita pizza. Okay. It's very, very delicious, very, very robust in flavor. It's not your traditional Neapolitan uh, um, margarita that you would get in Italy. My favorite pizza that, you know, personally that we make here is our upside down uh, pie, which has the cheese underneath and the sauce on the top. Mm -hmm. Parmesan cheese, oregano. Uh, I love this one because you get to really taste our pizza sauce. Right. Which many people seem to really love our pizza sauce. Uh, I think it's probably the, the key ingredient of our pies. Uh -huh. um, and then if we kind of move over this way here, we have our honey barbecue chicken wings, very, very popular, especially with the college kids. Our Philly cheesesteak, which I've had people from Philly say, this is a really good cheesesteak oh. and I'm from Philly. Even though it's not the traditional right. cheese ways and stuff. Exactly. But you know, it's, it's really great. Um, some more wings. It's a half dozen of our sal sauce wings. Our sal sauce is sort of a, it's not a secret. It's just all our wing sauces combined together and tossed up. And wow. It's a little, it's, you, if you can't decide what you want to get, get that. Get that one. <laughs> you, know? you get a little of everything. Uh, a chicken cutlet sandwich, because I know you're a fan of chicken Big cutlets. Big fan of that, yeah. We, our chicken cutlets, you know, we they're super thin. We do them thin, and we, we bread them ourselves. We make them ourselves. It's the same chicken that we use uh, for our chicken parms, chicken parm di uh, dinners, and the same chicken that we use on our pizzas. We don't skimp out uh, on our chicken pizzas. Okay. We use our actual chicken cutlet breast. Okay. We got a penne alla vodka with chicken and broccoli. Broccoli. And... Um, right here, these are not French fries. These are funnel <laughs> fries. Probably one of our most popular items, dessert item. Uh, it's like a funnel cake uh, that you would get at a fair. Right. Um, but in the shape of a French fry, and it's it's just fun to eat, and they're just delicious. <laughs> I got to tell you, and he's not lying. We were sampling on these the whole time in the back, coming out here waiting for this. They're delicious. They're, they're, they're delicious. They're fun. They're fun to eat. Fun, okay. Funnel fries. Garlic knots, because you, you got to have garlic knots. You're right. All right. Um, we've got a sampling of our most popular slices that the college kids love. Uh, we have our chicken bacon ranch. We have our honey barbecue chicken. And this is our baked ziti slice, which has uh, ricotta and um, uh, penne pasta yep. and, uh, and, and sauce. And then, of course, cannolis and cannolis. Uh, bon appetit. That's awesome, man. Everything looks great, Bobby. Thank you so much. We'll see you when we're done. Okay. Very good. Take care. All right, guys. So now we got our food. Bobby went over everything, and you can see this is an amazing table full of food here. Now, this is just some the, you know, like I said, we had to add two tables together. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the honey barbecue chicken slice. It's right in front. This is one of the more popular slices here that the college kids get. Looks fantastic. Let's see how it tastes. First bite you taste, you get that chicken. But you got the bacon on The honey barbecue sauce is off the charts good. It's got sweetness to it. Blended with that barbecue. Pizza's crispy, just the way I like it. Um, it's a, it is actually what I was hoping for. I was hoping it tasted like this. It's actually even better. Uh, 
That's phenomenal. All right, now we're going into the sales wing sauce. This is like all the wing sauces combined, mixed together. We're not even going to put this in the blue cheese first because I want to see what the sauce tastes like. And let's see how this tastes. Man, I can't even... I can't even put my finger on one thing. Like I said, it's got everything mixed together, but it comes together really, really good. Super crispy wings, just the way we like them. Great flavor, sauce is fantastic. Good wing there. That, that's, that's a winner right there, I love that. All right, let me try this uh, margarita. This is a pizza when it came out of the oven. I told him, I said, this is right up my alley. Love the, the, the simple ingredients, the fresh tomatoes, the mozzarella, the basil. This is probably one of my favorite pizzas. I love to get it when I don't have my sausage, meatballs, pepperoni. And it looks phenomenal. So let's see how it tastes. It is super, super good. It's very light. It's not a heavy pie. That fresh tomatoes on it with the mozzarella. But then you get that garlic. Now, usually when you see a pizza, you don't see really see the garlic. You actually see the garlic on this pie. Love garlic. I put it on everything. This is a super slice of pizza. I could eat this every day. It's fantastic. All right, I gotta try this pasta. It's sitting right in front of me. Now this has got a lot going on here. You got the broccoli, you got the chicken, everything. I mean, it's a huge plate too. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, that's good. You know what? You, now when you have the chicken, a lot of times you get the chicken. Um, you know, it's grilled. This is this is fried, isn't it, Bob? Which to me, it, it changed the whole taste of it because I love grilled chicken cutlets, and now you're just getting the chunks in, in this pita, uh, this uh, pasta, and it's absolutely. I'm, I'm stumbling over my words. It's so good, guys. We got a lot of food here. I, I don't even know where to start. I'm just kind of picking and choosing, but we're gonna get to eating. We'll see you guys when we're done. All right, guys. We just finished up another incredible show of the Empire Plate. Here in Oneonta, New York, a new sales pizzeria. I see that word. Thousand sales new. Let me do that again. Sales last classic. Yes. See, now we thinking about this. Could be a blueprint. Love it. Put a box. Look at the. Just look at the box. Mm -hmm. It's a box. It says new. Mm -hmm. You think I can see that part? <laughs> Is there a closer sign? All right, guys. We just finished up another incredible show with the Empire Plate here in Oneonta. All right, guys, we just finished up another incredible show with the Empire Plate here in Oneonta, New York, at Sales New Classic Pizzeria. And Bob, I want to thank you guys for an amazing day. Bill, thank you so much for being here. This was awesome, man. I, I got to tell you what. First of all, hospitality here was off the charts. These guys were great. You got incredible staff. You guys do a super job. So thank you guys so much. It made us feel like home when we walked there. And the food was absolutely incredible. Everything we ate was so good. This is a place, guys, you are definitely going to want to come to and check it out. It's right on Main Street here in Oneonta. Make sure you like their Facebook page. Come down. The portion sizes of first are, are huge. I mean, the pizzas, the subs, the wings, everything they have here is incredible. You guys do a super job. I can't wait to come back. Well, listen, the credit is to my staff. Staff, they absolutely. I have the best in town and probably the best around anywhere. So that's awesome. Speak to them. Absolutely. You guys do a great job. So thank you, guys. Um, so unfortunately, we have to leave for the day, but I'll definitely be back to visit these guys. Come check them out. I'm your host, Bill Vinci, the Empire Plate Show. You guys have a great day.